education is a regular part of every student's experience here in the Mill Creek Township School District. The focus is on quality instruction in three areas. These areas include locomotor movements, such as running, jumping, and skipping, skill-related fitness, which includes throwing, catching, kicking, and striking, and health-related fitness activities, such as cardio, strength, and flexibility, that prepare students for a physically active lifestyle. Students at all levels learn the knowledge and skills they need to find some type of physical activity that they can enjoy and can continue to participate in on their own. The wide variety of activities offered in the Mill Creek Township School District is appealing to students, helping them to have fun while at the same time learning what they need to maintain or improve their physical well-being. With the help of the $1.1 million from the Carol M. White Physical Education Program Grant, also known as the PEP Grant, the district is making strides in how physical education is taught to all students grades K through 12. Now more than ever, our educators are being provided with the necessary resources to effectively teach our state standards. In addition, new lesson plans keep students engaged in moderate to vigorous physical activity for more minutes during class than ever before. A massive upgrade in physical education technology helps round out some of the major program enhancements. Now we have students in grades 6 to 12 that will be getting a personal fitness assessment through our MicroFit um, Health Star Manager program. And each student has a chance to learn what their body composition is, their BMI scores, their upper body strength, and we also tie in their flexibility with that. So just that personal touch, that one-on-one, -on -one looking at where am I right now and how can I improve my fitness level has been huge for our secondary level in particular. It's just not the old time phys ed anymore, you know, it's not the roll out the basketball for the kids or just only the athletes can really succeed. I think that we make it so that every child can succeed and do well in this class and work at their own individual level and I think that's what we really strive for is mainly working on individual fitness with them. And, and what we've seen is a change from the old competitive sports model to more of an individual fitness based program so that everyone can participate and everyone is learning what they need to be physically healthy and find ways to uh, hopefully prevent from developing diabetes and heart disease and some of the, the issues that we're seeing today because people just are not very active. So we're getting away from that, let's just go play basketball and football and you know pound each other all the time to what can I do to help me be more fit and have fun, find something I enjoy so that I want to do it for the rest of my life. Did you know students sit for an average of nine hours per day? 20% of our children starting school are obese. Obesity rates of children ages 6 through 19 has tripled since 1980. 25% of adults who are obese were overweight when they were children. One out of every two students could be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and may die as much as 20 years younger than their parents. In the Mill Creek Township School District, we work hard to make sure all students receive the best possible physical education at all levels with all abilities. We ensure that the lessons our students are provided don't end with the final bell that rings each day. Instead, we are committed to educating our students on healthy life choices in hopes of promoting a healthier and more active lifestyle in whichever activities each student should choose. In the Mill Creek Township School District, some of our greatest improvements to physical education have begun at the elementary level. Our teachers have had the benefit of SPARK training and are using the equipment and techniques that encourage all students to be more active for more minutes during each class. SPARK stands for Sports, Play, and Active Recreation for Kids. It allows students to work individually, in pairs, and in small teams to learn and practice all their basic skills. The SPARK philosophy is that each student or pair of students has their own piece of equipment, thus allowing more activity and learning to occur. The highly aerobic SPARK curriculum is recognized by the American Heart Association, 
and the American Lung Association as being one of the only curriculums that improves cardio respiratory endurance. Um, the wonderful thing about the SPARK curriculum is first of all it's user friendly for us teachers. It allows us to get our equipment, get our task cards and all the tools that we need to, to create a good lesson. Secondly, it's wonderful for students because every child is engaged. Nobody's waiting in line, nobody is standing around watching. All the children are motivated to do everything that they can do because it's all at their level. Another program producing major results is the development and staffing of Action-Based Learning Lab. Action-Based Learning Lab is a program designed for kindergarten students that focuses on six areas that uses physical education to prepare students for cognitive learning. All movement is purposeful and helps develop the following. Eye movement for reading, spatial awareness development, balance, cross-lateral movements, and sensory integration. When the children come to the learning lab, action-based learning allows children to see the gym as simply another classroom. This classroom is a place where we simply enhance what the teachers are doing in the, in, back in their own classrooms. So technically, when the children come to learning lab, we are reinforcing many of the things that the teachers are doing, whether it's mathematics, learning coins, telling time, um, learning syllables, learning um, sight words, all those things are being reinforced here. So it doesn't replace anything Thing that the teachers are doing back in the classroom, it merely enhances it. Did you know in one year children spend 900 hours in school and 1,023 hours in front of a screen? Obese youth are more likely to be depressed and often victimized and bullied. Moderate to vigorous physical activity can successfully decrease symptoms of depression. 90% of overweight children have at least one of six avoidable risk factors for cardiovascular disease. <music> Students in middle school have had physical education class scheduled every other day, all year long, at each of the three middle school grades. In addition, they have 20 health classes as part of this time where they learn basic health concepts and skills that help them cope with their growth and development during adolescence. Our phys physical education program is excellent. Um, it's more of a lifestyle. Um, we still do our team sports and things like that, but it's more of a lifestyle change, um, something that the kids will use. Um, hopefully the rest of their lives. The students are, are very um, excited to come to class. It's, it's not so much having an excuse anymore, I can't participate due to this or that. Um, they come to class and they're you know, knocking on your office door. What are we doing today? When can we get started? I'm, I'm excited. What's, what are we doing next? Changes to the curriculum and changes in philosophy within the Mill Creek Township School District have been further enhanced by the renovation and addition of brand new fitness centers at each of the middle schools. Each fitness center has been outfitted with a mix of strength and cardio machines such as bikes, ellipticals, and treadmills. Students learn proper strength training techniques and how to utilize technology to improve their cardiac fitness. I think the cardio is definitely a big helpful in the strength I've been trying to work on strength and that actually helped big time. I like being able to walk on the treadmill and um, you can use all the bike machines and stuff and it's pretty cool because if you don't have a gym membership and you have, you know, always wanted to try something, then it's right here for you to try. The fact is that we have the equipment, we have the tools, we have the technology that a lot of districts don't have right now and it's special for us. An important piece of the curriculum for middle school students is the personal fitness assessments using the MicroFit system. This software allows us to measure height, weight, BMI, and body composition, upper body strength, and flexibility. Students can also be assessed on their bicep strength, flexibility, and blood pressure. Students can receive a printout of their scores for each assessment and see what level of fitness they achieve. Data from MicroFit is used to help students chart their progress and set personal fitness goals. Data is also used to help physical education teachers alter their instruction to improve areas of weakness.
opportunities are endless for physical education students once they reach the high school level in the Mill Creek Township School District. Classes scheduled in 85 minute blocks every other day for one semester each of the four years they attend McDowell. Students in ninth grade have aquatics during which time they learn Red Cross knowledge and skills for all swim strokes, basic water safety, and rescue. They also participate in swim backs to develop cardiac fitness and learn a variety of water team sports such as water polo, basketball, and volleyball. In addition, they learn basic snorkeling and scuba diving skills thanks to Divers World instructors who bring equipment and work with the students who want to learn these skills. The Mill Creek Township School District is one of the very few schools in Pennsylvania with such a comprehensive aquatics program. Our curriculum we think is very sound, it's really well-rounded. Um, uh, students get six styles of swimming, uh, but that's not all they do in the pool. Uh, we do water safety, uh, we don't make lifeguards out of our students, but they do become very aware of uh, different aquatic emergency situations that they can react to and help someone without endangering themselves. Even at the high school level, the SPARK curriculum is still very much a part of the day-to-day -day fitness activities. The lessons become more complex, but students still experience fitness assessments that they are able to chart their progress and make new goals. In addition, high school students also utilize the fitness centers where strength and cardio pieces are available. The PEP grant funding helped to refurbish older equipment as well as purchase new items. An after school program is offered for students who want to work out to maintain or improve their fitness. It helped me personally by working out more, getting exercise more, because I usually used to just sit and side and do absolutely nothing. Enjoyed it a lot because we either were working individually doing fitness things or we were working with a couple other people in a team oriented situation and working on teamwork and still getting the physical fitness goals out of it. When your son heads to Penn State or your daughter to Ohio State next year ever, they'll be comfortable going into the fitness centers knowing what they have to do and working on machines. Pop Sports is a computer video based system with over 50 different types of workouts that include martial arts, yoga, pilates, dance, circuits, and ladder training. These aerobic workouts develop cardio fitness while also allowing students to monitor their heart rate using echo heart rate monitors. This helps them learn to find their target heart rate and work within a zone that will improve the strength of their heart muscle. Additional activities like archery, kickboxing, cross country skiing, tennis, and golf all contribute to the district's emphasis on lifetime fitness goals. Bottom line is if our kids weren't open to change, um, we might not have seen the success that we have. I, a lot of credit needs to be given uh, to the students of McDowell Senior High School because they have been open to the change. Um, they have uh, embrace the change over the last couple of years and they're willing to try new things. We've um, tried archery and we've tried snowshoeing. Archery was definitely my favorite and because um, you know I've never tried it before and I've always wanted to ever since I was little. McDowell High School underwent a year-long process and earned the NASPE STARS Award. The National Association of Sport and Physical Education recognizes schools that meet all 31 criteria for excellence in physical activity. McDowell was one of only two high schools in the country to achieve this honor and the only high school in Pennsylvania who has been awarded stars. In addition, McDowell was honored as being the outstanding Pennsylvania High School Program of the Year by the Pennsylvania State Association for Health, Physical Education, Recreation and Dance. Uh, we are doing so much more to promote their health and, and health issues for the future, to cut down on obesity, on diabetes, and, and to make them aware that they can control their future. Just a real life world experience. I think that we're um, pretty progressive as far as the importance of health and the importance of nutrition and getting active and letting the kids experience that. Very energizing as I look at the end of my teaching career. Um, I think it's truly a catalyst for change and um, that's really been I guess the key thing is that it's allowed us to make needed changes but do them in a way that's been very successful and that's that's pretty awesome. For more information on physical education in the Mill Creek Township School District contact 835-5300 or log on to www.
mtsd.org.